Are these blushes so much worth the hype? I am totally against that guys. Blush in a jelly form like never seen before product. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you have already read in the title, I will be reviewing the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tint that has gone viral on the internet, especially on TikTok. And I know as a buyer, it gets really difficult to decide from the mixed reviews whether to buy a product or not. So I am here to help you with my review. Are these blushes so much worth the hype? Do they really stay? Are they really hard to blend? Their pigmentation? Are they really waterproof? All sort of questions will be answered in this video, so keep on watching. I have got these tints in two different shades. One of them is Spritz and the other one is Burst. These totally looks like a jelly candy. And if you have seen TikTok videos, people are even eating, biting these blushes. Like what? I am totally against that guys. I don't think you should eat or bite any makeup product. Okay, so starting with where to buy these blushes from. So these blushes are available at Sephora and they costed me $44 for each blush. Now these blushes launched a month ago and they went out of stock immediately after their launch and it was really hard to get my hands on on these blushes. So I was lucky enough to buy these online. As soon as these came online, I immediately placed my order. So these blushes are kind of lip and cheek tint. You can use it on your cheeks lips or i can sometimes even use them like an eyeshadow now these blushes looks like an edible jelly the formula is very easy to glide they are just perfectly pigmented and they stay immediately as soon as you apply them and these just dries pretty fast so you have to work and blend pretty quickly also these blushes gives a glowing effect and they do not enhance any texture in short i feel this is something like never seen before product i haven't seen any blush in a jelly form with a cooling sensation like these blushes if you have any other cheek lip and cheek tint that suits your face you love it i don't think these are a must have but if you are a makeup lover like me i love to get my hands on new launches new makeup i love to try new makeup so definitely a must have for somebody who likes to play with makeup but if you really have a tint that suits your face already then i don't think you need these blushes but tints in a jelly form i think that's a super cool idea also like they just look so natural as if like the color is coming from within and we all love and want that um, blush from within sort of glow right and in today's video i'm going to try these blushes without makeup on and then with makeup on so that you guys can see the true colors even without any makeup and then after applying your foundation all right guys so without any further ado let's move ahead the swatches and application of these blushes all right so let's get started with the application so first i'm going to apply these blushes without any makeup so that you guys can see that how these blushes looks like as a tint on its own so now let's start with the first blush which is called spritz it comes in this sort of packaging it is like this it's it's very very tiny i thought it's gonna be bigger but but these blushes are a bit tiny but a little bit goes long way so these will last you like forever applying this one on one side of my cheek and the other shade on the other side i can really apply directly on my face and just blend it with my fingers and that's how i'm gonna do it today and teach you how you can apply these without any tools i've seen in so many videos that you cannot apply this directly you either need a beauty blender or a brush or any like so many techniques to apply this blush but i don't think that it is that difficult to blend or use so i'm gonna just show you how i use it so right now i do not have any makeup on my skin at all i've only done my skincare and i'm gonna go directly with the shade spritz so i just dab it like this on my cheek and then i just spread from the edges quickly and that's it so I just zoomed in my camera a little bit more so that you can see the color clearly. So this is how the first coat looks like. To be honest, the camera is not picking up that much color, but this much is like more than enough for daily purpose. But I'm going to apply it a little bit more so you guys can see the color more clearly. So I just apply it on high points of my face. Now, if you have not worn any makeup, I believe these blushes looks the best like on bare skin. So this is the shade Spritz. And now let's move on to the other one, which is in the shade Burst. Apply it directly on the left side of my face. This is a bit more pigmented than the shade Spritz. Super easy to use, nothing complicated. 
yeah i'll apply a little bit of the shade burst on my lips as well i don't prefer to wear these blushes on my lips or any tint on my lips but yeah on the cheeks they looks very natural and they gives a very nice healthy glow so this is the shade spritz and this is the shade burst also these blushes are waterproof they won't budge at all until and unless you'll wash your face with a face wash okay so i'm just going to apply a little bit of makeup and then we will swatch these blushes again on top of the makeup all right guys so i'm back i just applied the tiniest bit of foundation because the blush and contour would mix and then you will not be able to see the true colors of the blushes on top of the makeup okay so let's move ahead with the application once again going with the shade spritz first I think on camera it's not picking up the color that much so I'll have to apply a little bit more. And you can just simply do this motion and your concealer and foundation will mix up with the edges and blend the edges. You can see how seamless it looks without touching any brush or beauty blender or anything. Let's move on to the other side. So this is how the blushes looks on top of the foundation. All right guys, so that's all for today's review about these Milk Makeup blushes. Let me know what you guys think about these blushes. Have you tried them before? What was your experience and which shade did you like more? From my side, these blushes are a 10 on 10. I would want Milk Makeup to bring more colors in these blushes and even a highlighter version if possible. So if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys super soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.